Hey guys, this is Marcin Migdal, um, the publisher of the Complete Artist book. And today I want to show you guys how you can have your own portfolio website on sketchaholic.com. This goes in sync with what I was telling you guys in the book about having a very professional, clean portfolio website. On, uh, so sketchaholic.com is a community for artists, animators, photographers, painters, where we allow you to upload your portfolio, uh, nominate your works for publishing, and then we go and publish the book and promote you guys. As well, there's a new feature that we've just launched and we're beta testing it, and it's to allow everybody a really nice and clean interface to present their artworks to art directors and link your work domain to the Sketchaholic profile page. So without further ado, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna show you guys the website. So here it is, here is sketchaholic.com. And these are the selected featured artists. And it links right to their portfolios. So your portfolio would essentially kind of look the same. You would create a slider of images. And when somebody came to your domain name, whatever that was, for instance, this is Jason's, it would display this exact slideshow. So these are just images that we've uploaded on Jason's profile. And if you want to learn more about Jason, you would click About Me. Now this is our old version of the interface, but we are creating a much cleaner interface where the potential art director could see your portfolio any way they choose and read all about you and the push it option is essentially to help you push your book now how do you do this well let's log out and let's sign up so we'll create a test account and we'll use our friend Bogdan Kavashu's images to create a portfolio Okay, create our account. Okay, and now from your dashboard, we'll click Portfolio. And then you have your option to create albums, upload images, and add your videos. We're going to create our albums, and we'll call this Main Portfolio. And you can have as many albums as you wish, of course. And now that you see your Main Portfolio album, you simply click add more to add individual images with descriptions or in our case we'll click upload images because we have a batch of them to upload we'll click select files and then navigate to the images we want to upload I recommend actually you need to have the images size at 1920 by 1080 pixels to make sure that they are displayed the nicest within the slideshow. And then we'll start uploading them. Uh, the best format is JPEG. Save that 80% for web out of Photoshop. And the files could be on under 500k. That's the best recommended option. Once the images are uploaded, you see the detail specs for each one. This is where you assign the titles for your images and where you write the description perhaps what it is what software you used and you can just paste that. We're gonna do this really quick here though we'll just copy and paste for each one this is a fake account we're going to remove after we're done this video. Now the reason you want to ensure you write the titles correctly, even by adding your name, for example, is because this is search engine optimized, meaning that the titles and the keywords that you write within these are going to be optimized by Google search engine, for example. So when somebody's typing your name, and they're tapping artwork 
if you have the strategic keywords within your titles and your image details then the search engine will more likely pick that up especially if you have it on every single image so I would recommend adding by your name on every title as well Star Trek. and you can go as far as saying it's a caricature if you want to be known for your caricatures I don't know how to spell Pacquiao, I'm sorry you guys. So a really basic so search engine optimization is whatever you want to be known for or be picked up by Google search engines for or Bing or any other ones, that is the keywords that you've placed within the uh, files and elements that you upload anywhere on the web. So even with Facebook, if you were to go and post a Facebook image that was exactly like this, you would want to make sure in your description you would type the same thing. The name of the image, what it is, what it represents, uh, perhaps a genre of the art, fine art, painting, sculpture, caricature, and you include your name. Even though your name is already attached to the Facebook profile, it's still good to have the name. And what I did here as well is I named the file uh, with the name the username of Sketchaholic which would add that extra search engine optimization to the files within Sketchaholic database and the website now the final thing is before you click save is you need to assign this to an album so we only have one album so it's portfolio and then the category we'll just go caricatures all media and of course you can adjust these at any time you wish. And now we'll click save. Save. And that's it. Now I'll click our portfolio again and you will see that these images are now under our portfolio. And if we ever want to edit any of these, we'll click edit. Oh, and one thing I totally forgot is you need to check this checkbox. Add to portfolio slideshow if you want this to be displayed on the new slider. So let's do this for each one of them again. We, recommend, we only recommend adding about 10 examples of works in your slideshow. Just as if you were to submit any traditional portfolio, 10 to 15 is max. Our directors don't really want to see any more than that. And now we'll go and preview our profile. Well, your name is Test Test because that's the name that I chose. There you go. And now you have a nice slider. Again, by the time you actually see this video, it may have a little more options. So it may have bio and additional links as well. So if you click About Me, it will be taken to your portfolio page where people can see it, comment, navigate, nominate and all that kind of great stuff. So there you have it. That is you and your portfolio. Remember my portfolio and if you want to change your name or anything else you would go James Dean for example and submit and whatever I change my information to that's what will be displayed here so very easy and uh, the next step would be for you to go and register a GoDaddy domain name and link that domain name and forward it to your Sketchaholic profile so how would I do that? Well. Uh, that's a whole nother video that uh, you can find on marcinmcdowell.com or actually as part of the Complete Artist book uh, sets of videos in the video workshop. But really quickly, um, you want to find a domain name that has a .com. 
So I'm pretty sure this is taken, but let's just give it a try. You will switch for domain names. Okay, it's not available. Let's say James Dean. All right. If this was my name and I wanted to link this to a website, GoDaddy is a really good website to allow you to buy domain names. And sometimes they have coupons. So uh, I will make those coupons available to you again uh, in the, the video workshops section. Sometimes you can buy a domain name ship as 99 cents for a year. Uh, and trust me, this is a very, very good investment. A lot of artists, a lot of creative people are very savvy when it comes to promotion and marketing, but a website and a domain name and hosting is something you just need to have these days. You cannot get around it. A Facebook and a Twitter account, sure, you can have those, but to be a professional, you need to have your own website. And not only that, you need to pay money. It takes money to make money. So let's not be a starving artist. Uh, okay, so we'll continue to cart, blah, 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 blah. Once you're inside, let me just log in here so you guys can see. So once you're logged in, you're gonna go into your domain names and find the domain name that you've just purchased. Now I'm gonna skip fast forward here. Okay, so we have a domain name called thejamesbondbook.com. And what it's doing, it's actually linking James Bond. Okay, so I'll show you how this actually works, forwarding. So I type the jamesbondbook.com, and you can, as you can see in the browser, that's all that's displayed, right? But if we go to sketchaholic.com, If we go to sketchaholic.com and we'll go to our bookstore and we find the James Bond book, which is right here, and we click look inside, you notice that sorry. You notice that there is an actual URL that is provided by the database of the site we've created that is right here. Now this is all optimized. There's a reason why there are hyphens in between. So when you type in James Bond caricature it will be a higher likelihood of it being indexed by the search engine. But you can notice that if I go here, I see the jamesbondbook.com. If I go here, I see this long link. Now, how does this work? When you purchase a domain name, there's an option called masking. When you forward a domain name to another URL, this is the URL that I would paste. So for the portfolio section, if your username is what was the username test two right so this test account that we just created for James Dean after I purchase my domain name this is the URL that I want to copy and paste in my forwarding uh, section of the GoDaddy account in order to have it forwarded to this page so let's switch back to GoDaddy and Let's click on launch. So this will show you everything about the jamesbondbook.com domain name. Now let's assume that this is your domain name. In order to forward it, you would click manage under forwarding. And under domain name, there's a forward to, you see here. So now I have this forwarded, so I can click update. But if you didn't, then you would have a slightly different uh, interface where we'd be able to paste it. So I'm going to click forward, and there you go. So in the forward too, you can do an either a secured HTTPS or a, a standard. So we'll go standard. And then here we just simply replace this with this link. And we can preview it, and it should direct us to the page. Under redirect type, you'd want to go either temporary or permanent. So you would want to go permanent. Then underneath, you can see there's forward only, forward with masking. With forwarding only, what happens is when somebody types in, say, the jamesdean.com, it would actually forward you and display this link. So people would know that you are using uh, somebody else's 
URL. If you want to change that so it only displays the .com that you've purchased, you simply change it forward with masking. Then it's going to ask you for the metadata. So you would type in your name, you know, like John Doe or John Smith, you know, after you would put maybe who you are, you know, illustrator, caricature artist. Maybe you want to put in there your location, so maybe Toronto, GTA. You know, all these keywords combined would rank you higher on Google. So if I was an art director in Toronto looking for an illustrator and a caricature artist, I would type in probably Toronto, illustrator, caricature artist, or art director, and I will press enter. And the search engine would browse the internet and the websites and look for anything with those three keywords in it. And if your title and description and keywords have those keywords, then you would be spit out to the users who are searching for you. So that's the gist of how search engine works. And again, in the description, you put whatever you want and keywords, you would put whatever you want. I'm going to cancel this and then you would submit it. And it would take maybe four or five hours for it to propagate on the internet and then once that's done it, when you typed in that domain name it would forge you right into the Sketchaholic page and uh, the final thing I'm going to tell and share with you is that uh, this is a beta once it's completed you will not actually see the logo here or any of our links you will have the option of simply seeing it full screen and having it be branded to you only. The only thing that we'll probably end up doing is we'll put a little Powered by Sketchaholic logo down here. And that's basically it. So I hope that you guys uh, have enjoyed um, this really short, well, really short tutorial. And I hope that the knowledge and the information that you've gathered from Jason Seiler and myself and all the other contributor art directors and fine artists in the book benefits you in your career. Uh, and I am super happy that uh, you guys supported us and uh, I can't wait to do in the next book. Thanks, you guys. Again, this is Marcin Migdal, publisher of Mad Artist Publishing and Sketchaholic.com. For more interviews and video workshops, visit madartistpublishing.com. It's time to get on the map.